Okay, I don't really do vlogging stuff, so uh, this is just recording on the phone, talking into it, probably bad audio, but uh, that's not really the point. I'm really documenting something that I'm going to try that may be a success, it may be a bust, it may fall somewhere in the middle, and that is creating some some racks for my new uh, stations here. And I, I did a video called This is Lame where I talked about the iRack, these three iPads. And yeah, this thing works, but I'm like, you know what? I, let's make something. And these four devices here has, has kind of inspired me to get to the hardware store, get some lumber, get some tools, and throw something together. I've got some ideas. I've taken some measurements. I, I've watched some DIY videos. Yes, I could just go to Etsy and buy uh, the the mounts or racks or stands, whatever you want to call it for these four. Yet, <laughs> I, I know you're going to laugh because, you know, especially if you've seen some of the other gear that I have, it's like, seriously, dude, you're, you're going to do that? Yeah, because we can do that. That's I think that's part of this whole when you're into this thing, you know, some people solder, some people do DIY kits. Well, this is me doing that. Um, just don't need to have a solder. Um, I'm just really documenting. Uh, I don't know how often I'll do it or, or how and, and all that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, this is just a kind of a day zero of what I want to do. So the, the plan is to have in this space three stands, one for the IRAC, uh, and then two basically for the Arias, and it's going to be the IRAC and the Aria rack. Uh, people have Euro rack and Synth rack and big fan of, of what people do in those spaces. They're just something that, whether it's financially or I just don't, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, modular is a thing that I don't grasp. But in a way, I can do modular in my own way with these devices, even though it's technically not that. So it's really about having fun. And I know this may sound kind of strange, but maybe it'll inspire me to do some cool things with this. I'll be honest with you, I haven't been using the Aria Boutiques enough, but if I have it set up in a way that, you know, is inviting, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, that's cool. So that's it. Uh, we'll see where this goes, and uh, we'll catch you in the next part of this thingy. All right, just got back from the lumber store and have some equipment to try and continue this project. I don't own, yeah, I'm going to admit it, I don't own any power tools, so I'm going old school. Done this before, but uh, got rid of this uh, device when we moved some more things. And uh, yeah, the uh, journey continues. Still day one, and uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll start on it today or maybe later. But uh, yep, catch the next one. It ain't perfect. It ain't pretty. But it's mine, and it's a one of a kind. The IRAC and the ARIA rack. I got one more to do, so I'll uh, come back and do that. Still got some wood left. There's the mess over there. Been messing around. And two down, one more to go. Man, this has been a lot of fun. Well, it's done. <laughs> I'm laughing because this thing is janky but it's mine. I love it. I think it's amazing. And I want to present to you what I believe is the world's first, the IRAC and the ARIA rack. Now, yes, you can go online and get a much nicer and professionally looking piece of equipment for your ARIA compacts. But this is what really drove me outside of some other things that I talked about to do this whole thing. Because I could go out and buy, like I said, a nice rack for these things. And then I have this weird janky mess for the eye racks. I'm like, you know what? Let's just make everything weird and make everything look janky because it's me. It taps into that creative space that we all, we all talk about. We all talk about being original and this is it. Now, this is not me going to start getting into making any kind of stuff like this. So if anyone has this crazy thought of, hey, can, no. I'm not, this is, this is three of three, that's it. <laughs> I will say this though, if you are a professional woodmaker, whatever the term is, 
there are people who have multiple iPads and make music. There is nothing out there that I can buy that has this setup. I, I looked. I mean, they've, they've got this weird stuff on Amazon that, no, I don't want those tablet stands. And if you make it, put it online, trust me, it'll sell. So let me kind of talk about what I did to, to do this and a few little tips and some things that I learned and, and just show you some of the jankiness. So basically, I used other videos that people have put online to get the form factor in terms of the shape that you see. And then I had to take a look at my equipment and figure out how to support them. So you'll notice the compacts have these backings behind them. And then the iPad, because I wanted to have the Mini Fuse 2 down below, and I've got different width iPads, I just basically made notches. So this just sits in like so, these two. And then the Mini, I just, again, put a backing there. And that was it. Uh, a couple things that I learned, screws are your friend, but because I'm working with um, very narrow pieces of wood, I did have to use uh, nails in some of those. This first one that I did, yeah, <laughs> it's it's crooked in places. You can clearly tell some are not at the same angle. And I can imagine some people saying this like, dude, I could never do that. That's cool. <laughs> this isn't level. I had to put a piece of uh, thing underneath there to keep it level. The second one that I did for this, I actually took a little bit more time and measured it. So it is, you know, there's nothing that I need to put underneath it, but I didn't get these parts uh, right. So I have got to figure something out with that. Like I said, janky as all can be, but it's me. I can put stickers on here. I'm not going to paint it. I've got LED lights on this one and that one. I need to buy one for the one on the left. Um, just to show you some more jankiness. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Poor, poor craftsmanship. But it's me, and it works. And outside of you seeing this, no one cares. I mean, it's all about the sounds that come out of the gear that matters versus that. Um, why I chose what I did here is I'm not someone that does woodworking. I mean, the last time I messed with this was in junior high. So I don't have you know, table saws and fancy power equipment. So I just went to the hardware store, got a good old manual handsaw. So I got some leftover wood. Uh, let me be honest with you, that was frustrating trying to cut. Um, I had to get extremely MacGyver with things. Uh, C-clamps are your friend. Um, I actually I had to use some old stuff that I had with video equipment. And a lot of it was just kind of <laughs> uh, flying by the seat of my pants to throw this together in terms of making it work. And, and that's why... This is not something that I could record and show you how to do because no one would follow it. I mean, it's it's a complete disaster in terms of what I did behind the scenes to make it work. And I love the fact that it's not perfect. I love the fact that things aren't lined up. It fits right in line with how I mess with music. I have this term called having a mess around, and that is exactly what I did with this thing. And it's me. And I, I'm, I'm super happy with it. I've already done a little bit of a, a jam with, with this one here. And I can actually stand now in front of this, similar to what people do when they stand in front of the Eurac modules. And you may be wondering about these two empty spaces here. Roland, hey, the ball's in your court. <laughs> if you decide to make some new compacts, I'm ready. And this was my way of giving myself that headroom. I don't want to just make a two-tiered one and then what if they come out with another one? I'm kind of stuck. So you heard that term, you know, make sure you have something you can grow into. So that was my thinking for for that. But uh, yeah, super, super fun. Um, some other things, make sure if you decide to venture into this, get a mask. Uh, you don't want to be inhaling stuff. No OSHA violations. I have all my 10 fingers, uh, so I did not require any medical treatment. Uh, I was very careful about that, and, and trust me, uh, every even from working the power drill to, you know, putting the holes in for screws, just being really, you know, mindful and not rushing things. But uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this. And again, the whole purpose of this was, it was to have fun. That's what it started out with. And then once I started thinking about it, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this thing. And it's going to be sloppy, but I, I love it. So I hope this inspires you to do something, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, get out there, have a lot of fun, stay safe, keep your head on a swivel, 
and I do hope to catch you in another video. Until then, keep jamming.